Hi, Harun. Lovely to see you again. How are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm very well. It's so exciting to be chatting to you as the new co-chairs of the I Will Fund. Yeah. Harun, firstly, let's take a moment um, to recognize that we're both stepping into huge shoes. I mean, we are taking over as coaches from Amanda Jordan. Let's just take a moment to thank her for her service, but also yeah. to, to remind ourselves that these are huge shoes that we're stepping into. They certainly are, yeah. Amanda, as co-founder, um, has, from the start and throughout, been a constant support. I yeah. feel like this for this moment, we just need to take a bow and salute Amanda and say well done for everything she's done. So this is my bow, Amanda. Well done. And now, now that, that we've, we've been past the baton, yeah. what has most inspired you about the partnership between the organisations and young people across the I Will Fund? So for me, I think the key thing for me has been collaboration across across the funders um, and what that collaboration actually means for funders and for the people that they fund. So when we've seen uh, the, the match funders working together, um, they've taken it on themselves to bring in young people in, into their own leadership. And a key aspect of that is obviously that trust and that trust to know that the young people, they know what they're doing, they just need to steer. Um, and that, that to be honest, that's what inspires me across the, the match funders is that whoever it is, they get young people involved, they take that youth led aspect um, and they, they run with it and they, they let the young people flourish. I think that's the thing for me as well. It's that innovative and unique model, you know, that bringing together of funders and young people around common goals. The fact that everyone comes across the table and they are committed to those four key investment drivers of quality, reaching lower income groups, um, mm. supporting, especially supporting that younger age range, but also building sustainability through the partnership. Those, that's so, that inspires me hugely. So I have one more question for you, Harun. What are your hopes for the future of the I Will Fund? So for me, I, I, we've seen a lot of the Arville Fund collaboration across the board and a lot of ways in which funders and other, other organisations who have not necessarily been funded by IWIL, um, who have approached us and asked us how they can get young people involved in their, their boards and their leadership boards and their advisory panels. And I think that for me is the biggest hope for the future, that that collaboration has led to organisations understanding that young people are at the heart of what they do. I couldn't agree any, any more with you. And my hope is that we will build the capacity and support many more young people to be part of this recovery uh, process that we need as society. And it doesn't really matter, Harun, in what capacity that young people want to be involved, whether mm. as campaigners, mm. fundraisers, volunteers, or even in the most creative and innovative ways that we haven't even thought about. My hope, you know, in three years time, if we were to sit down here again and have this conversation, that we will be celebrating some incredible moments and incredible movements that have, that have been born out of this I Will Fund. At the end of the day, young people are always a part of society. Young people are always going to be the future. So. If you're not looking towards the future as looking at young people, then what future are we looking towards?